Hi, I'm Dr. Pruner, and today we're going to be talking about the game day brace. So the game day brace can definitely be intimidating. It's got a lot of straps and things, so hopefully this video guides you on how to appropriately put this on, depending on what you're needing it for. So the first strap is this top one. That's going to lock everything in place. So you just take it off, and as you can see, it can come completely off if you don't want it. <laughs> but that's not what we want to do, so we'll leave it on right here, okay? And so the next ones are on the sides over here, okay? You're gonna just take each of them off. It's a fresh brace. You want that nice, strong Velcro stick so that nothing comes off. There you go. So now you got all these little spaghetti noodles kind of hanging out over here, right? But this is all gonna be for a purpose. The last straps are gonna be your shoe strings right here, and the reason it's called a speed lace is because these, when you pull them, automatically lace for you, which is really neat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide it on our foot here. So I've already got my pants kind of rolled up. And so you just slide it on. So once you're here, it's gonna feel really loose and that's fine. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just take these straps and you're gonna pull, okay? One is gonna come over on this side and the whole thing is Velcro all the way around. So as long as it sticks to Velcro, it doesn't matter. And then the next one, do the same thing. You can adjust your shoe tongue after you get those laces to get it nice and comfortable. You can even pull the brace up if you need to, to get it nice. Readjust if you need, so I'm gonna readjust for you guys. There we go. All right, easy part done. So the next thing are these two straps. So these can be really confusing, but it really depends on what you're needing them for. There we go. So if you are having some ankle instability, like you just had an ankle sprain, then you're gonna wanna swing your ankle over like that, and that's what these straps do. But let's say that your issue is that you have a medial ankle sprain or the inside of the ankle right here, you'll wanna swing it the other direction. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how you can manipulate that. So if we're gonna start with this one and swing the ankle over here, you're just gonna come right underneath like that, okay? So you see how I went underneath the arch right here? And you're gonna pull up and hold. And I'll do that again for you to see. So it starts here, you're pulling over and hold, okay? Then you're gonna do the same thing with this one and you're gonna swing down and around, and you can just literally secure it, or you could even pull in that direction to kind of lock it in, and then that's where you're gonna keep your ankle in a good position so that no ligaments are getting irritated while you're healing. So then, the last one here is your form fit, literally describes it right there. You'll just take it into your comfort, you'll go all the way around and secure it. So now that you have your game day brace on, the question is about shoes. A lot of times with sneakers, you know, they'll slide right on, but everyone has different foot shapes and even calf sizes that this device can kind of feel awkward at first. The start is making sure that your tennis shoe, if you're gonna try that first, which is always the best shoe to try, is loose enough. So just loosen your laces, try to get your foot in. And if it's super uncomfortable, there are backless shoes that have good arch support while you're wearing your brace that would be appropriate but it's always good to ask your doctor if you're unsure about the shoes that you need to wear with the brace. So if you have any other questions about how to use the game day brace or the speed lace brace, you can ask your doctor who prescribed it to you, or if you're in the Dallas area, come and visit us at Foot and Ankle Associates of North Texas today.